Okay, we are here, week 18, and somehow, some way, Houston is 8-8. Eight eight. We're facing against Jacksonville, 5-10, uh, 5-1. Jacksonville's already locked up their division, right? They've already locked up the AFC South. They have no reason to play. None of their stars, but we have no idea how that works. But they go down, they drive, and they get a touchdown, but miss the extra point. So we are quite in luck. We're going to get the ball at halftime. With a chance, with a chance for the playoffs. Eight and eight, already a miracle. We won two and 15 last season, and we were three and seven in the first 10 games. And for some way, somehow, we've won five out of the last six games. Barely. A couple games, we've had uh, just miraculous game winning field goal kicks, uh, you know, fumbles on the first drive, multiple fumbles. But yeah, we're here. And this offense is. You know, talking to this team throughout the week, they're motivated. Going into Jacksonville, going on the road. And again, it's a little bit of beneficial. Jacksonville, again, has already locked up a playoff spot. They can't move up. They can't improve their they can't improve their seating, right? They're, they're locked in in that fourth place division spot. It's there. So right now, Houston is just, you know, trying to find a way to knock off the team here and finish 9-8, and eight, which is some... Sh Something short of a miracle, in a, in a sense. Because if you go back to the videos and you watch the previous games, you're going to see exactly what we had to do to get there and touchdown. Shelvin, a great-handed tight end, does it again. It's 6-6, six, six, they're going for two. J.C. Crump gets the outside, dies for the two-point conversion. This guy has been elusive all season. Definitely, he's, he's, he's prevented a lot. He had like 15 interceptions last year. I think he's like at five or six, maybe, the whole entire year. This team has, has done something. And again, uh, Jacksonville went right down the field. They scored and got the two-point conversion. So Houston is trying to get the, – they have a minute left. They, they get the ball at halftime. So they have a, a prime opportunity to at least get some field goal points or even tie it up, touchdown, or even take the lead going into the half. They gotta hurry up. They're on the right side of it. The they take a shot. That's like the deepest shot that JC Crumber thrown all his whole career so far. And it he, they stick with it. Is this their day? 20 seconds left to go. What are they going to do? Not going for the field goal. Here they go. Crump gets out of bounds. There it is. Still got time. Tight ends open down the field. He waits at the last second to get that touchdown. He almost got sacked. He look at uh, no replay. We should have. Damn it, that replay would have been great. You guys can go replay it live, right? Go rewind it yourself. Replay it live. They go and they get a touchdown with a minute to go, and they get the ball back to have a chance to go up by ten. This, this is unprecedented. This team is no quit, and this is one of the longest returns of. There it is, the longest kick return in the Shaquille Pert's career. Gets the 50 yard. This team is taking on all cylinders. They're grinding now. All right, so they're trying to they're trying to go up. They're trying to make it happen here. Get a quick score. Diving in there for first down. Get to the 40 yard line. Looks like the tight end's going to be open once again. Again, no safety help with the tight end. He breaks the seam. Got no, you know, they're not playing man, they're playing zone in that one. And it gets breaks free for a gain of eight to the 25, 26 yard line. And a little pitch play. Breaks free, breaks free. Dies for 11 yards. Oh my. Houston can feel it. Titan's going to be open again. And a little late throw. Defender almost got there. Again, safety's not helping. Titan's breaking free. And Titan's free again. Beat him on the post. Touchdown. A chance to go up by 10. Not open. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. Jacksonville takes it right down, scores it, gets the two. Okay, well, hey, this is how you want it. This is what you want. 22-22. What you going to do? Right? You got the opportunity to take this game. You had the opportunity to take this game and you just win it. All right, got the 55, uh, excuse me, 45-yard line. Minute and a half to go. 
Shelvin's there again for a gain of 14. Just don't turn the ball over. All right, melt the clock all the way out. Don't give Jacksonville another chance. Pert gets it. Gain of 13. The clock's still ticking. Keep, keep the clock ticking, right? Take as much time as you can. This is for all the marbles. A playoff opportunity, a wild card. This team, who last year went 2-15, and 15, is driving for their life. All right, again, they were, like I mentioned before, they were 3-7 and seven after week 10 or week 11. 40 seconds to go, fourth and one, they go for it. What a, they've been doing it all year. Nothing, nothing short of a miracle, but right now, the biggest clutch fourth down they've had in their careers. And they're 20 seconds away from making it into the playoffs. As a seventh seed, 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds. First and goal. J.C. Crum dives in for the touchdown. Seven seconds left to go. That could have been the icing on the cake. Crum is going to go in. He's sneaking in for two. They're up by eight. Seven seconds left. And the clock, three, zero. First of all, a winning season. 30 points, I think, is the most points this team has ever scored with Bali Ben as the coach. And this is it. They made the playoffs. They win six. They go six and one in the last games. Six and one. It's nothing short of a miracle. Go to the playoffs and see who they're playing. We're going to be going to Miami. We're going to Miami. All right. That is, that is amazing. Miami's 14 and three. They got the second seed at 14 and 3. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a brutal game. Gonna be a brutal one. All right, let's go check out some stats. They got 2,500 yards, 25 touchdowns. Seven interceptions. Great job. He had 14 or 15 interceptions last year. 450, four, very balanced, but 450, 400 receiving. And it's a multi-pack. He's not gonna get a thousand yards yet. Tied in, 746. Consistency, eight touchdowns. Shaquille Pert still missed that 1,000 mark again. Eight touchdowns. The rookie, 681 with seven touchdowns. That was the big help right there on offense. Getting this guy coming in, offensive line, defense, not great. Got that forced fumble right there by the DL. That really helped in one of the games. All right, Michael Whitley missed one game in the season. Dick still great. DB. All right. Kicker right there. 13 out of 16. He missed one field goal to win a game and a potential game winner, but that was it. 13 out of 16. This locked in this year. This team did some amazing things. They're going to go play a playoff game. We'll see you for it. See you guys next time in the playoffs.